Everyone has a pair of smart glasses these days, like I do. And also, me. Now, they put all sorts of technology in each pair on your face. But more importantly... Hey, actually, can I ask you a, a quick question? Yeah, sure. Go for it. So, I have a pair of smart glasses, and I think they're really quite good. But which is the best? Well, let's find out. There are a few different types of smart glasses currently out and about in the world, so let's go through all of them. First, there are Google's type of smart glasses that give you a, like, a heads-up display using the glass. Yeah, we're not going to talk about those. Then, there are Snapchat's type of spectacles. Now, those ones put cameras up where your eyes are to help you record images and video. Nope, we're not going to talk about those ones either. And then there are the ones, the type that connect to your phone via Bluetooth and give you access to all sorts of smart functions, as well as the ability to listen to music and podcasts. Yep. So there are two models out and about at the moment which typically define this genre of gadget, and so we thought it best to compare them. Those are the Bose frames, followed by Gentle Monster X Huawei's collaboration frames. So let's go through them both, shall we? So Bose launched this first pair of smart glasses late last year, and they are pretty interesting. Bose channeled its audio smarts into a pair of standard-looking frames that come with different lenses. Now, there are two versions. Uh, this one here is the Alto version, and each has a little speaker in each arm that pipes music straight into your head. You can connect them to your phone via the Bose Connect app, and you charge them direct with a proprietary plug. And there's also a little button near the top. You know what? They're actually pretty good. So let me put them on. Let's try out. Okay, so sound quality is pretty great. I mean, sound quality is really... Okay, let me turn them down a little bit. So as I said, sound quality is great, and you can listen to them quite softly without anyone really being able to hear it, which makes them absolutely fantastic for super boring business meetings, as well as during the morning commute. So now let's move over to these bad boys, the Gentle Monster X Huawei glasses. Now, as the name suggests, they are the best of two brands. The Korean eyewear company provides the design, while Huawei gives it the smarts. They certainly look a lot better than the Bose versions. Okay, well, I say that, but that's a bit subjective. That depends on a lot of different things, from the type of sunglasses you like to wear to how big your head is. So let's just say that they are more stylish looking than the Bose frames but they share the same two-speaker setup as the other pair. Now, they connect via straight-up Bluetooth and will give you access to Google Assistant and Siri via a tap at the temple. Now, they sound pretty good, but they are noticeably louder than the other pair. They are noticeably louder, which may or may not be a good thing, depending on how clandestine you want your listening to be. Now we can move on to the cases. Now, Bose makes a pretty standard case. It holds basically just the glasses, as well as a little baggie with a charging cable inside. You actually charge the glasses straight in the frames via USB, which means you only ever really have to carry the actual glasses and the cable. That's it. Now, the Huawei, on the other hand, that's a very different story. You need a massive whopper of a case to do just about everything, from connecting it to your phone via Bluetooth to recharging them via USB-C. Now, on the plus side, it holds extra charge, so you can keep them juiced on the go. But on the bad front, that means having to lump around a truly massive case. So, let's summarize. The Bose frames sound the best, but have a pretty standard design, while the Gentle Monster X Huawei pair, man, that's a long name, are significantly more stylish, but a bit less easy to use, thanks to that enormous case. But then again, that case also lets you charge it on the go. Now, for my money, I think if you're going to buy some smart shades that have speakers in them, it's all about sound quality, which is why the Bose pips the Huawei. But then again, many people buy sunglasses to look stylish, which means the gentle monsters would pick up the win. Now, which is best will certainly go down to which is a bigger priority for you, but I can definitely say for certain that these aren't the last smart sunglasses we're going to see in 2020. And I'm pretty psyched about that.